Assalamu alaikum all students. I am Razia VT from BHSS Kofara. Uh, my trade is ITITs. And uh, hope you all students are doing well at your homes. Uh, it's very panic situation for us, but we have to stay home. So, till now in IT, we have studied uh, what is IT, characteristics of IT, BPM industry, and uh, how it's beneficial for us. And also, we have gone through the career options given by IT. And uh, now, we uh, will go for next topic that is IT applications. And uh, as we know that IT has vast range of applications and uh, we'll go through uh, steps one by one. Uh, first one is we use IT at home. As you know that at home we use personal computers and these personal computers can be used to play games, to surf the web, to use uh, emails, to check emails, to create music or uh, to listen to the music and uh, we can also use PCs uh, to play games. These games may be action games, these may be role playing games uh, and a computer uh, can be used uh, from home to study wide range of online uh, learning courses mm, and uh, we can use computers uh, to do online shopping or e-commerce that's electronic commerce uh, from home uh, as well second one is it in everyday life as uh, we use IT in everyday life, uh, for example, we use uh, washing machines or we use microwave ovens or we use some other products uh, which have embedded softwares uh, in them. These embedded softwares help us to accomplish our work at time um, with some knobs, with some uh, what, with some buttons, um, and. Uh, now we can also uh, store important information about our uh, important work, appointment schedules. Uh, we can store list of contacts in computer. Uh, therefore, we can say computer plays a very important role in our uh, daily lives. And uh, I think uh, we cannot we cannot imagine the world without computer. We cannot imagine the world without computer. And uh, third one is IT in a library. As uh, as most of the libraries are digitized, are computerized, uh, That's uh, we know that each book has a barcode associated with it. Mm, a barcode is nothing. It is uh, thin and thick lines. And uh, these thin and thick lines are to be scanned uh, in, order to, uh, in order to record the book details in our computer. And when we have to issue a book, we have to scan the barcode uh, and we have to give the date of issue. And then there is a specific time, uh, specific time and we have to return the book. And for example, if we have uh, issued the book on uh, 1st of April, and then there must be a specific uh, time frame that is, uh, for example, if it is seven days, then we have to return the book uh, till... Uh, till 7th or 8th of april and if uh, we uh, failed to return the book then we get fined we are fine uh, we are fined and uh, we can say uh, these digitized libraries these keep a uh, track of books and availability of a specific book because we don't have to search all the uh, books in order to get the details if it's available in the library or not we have to uh, check it uh, by entering the name Mm, uh, are the code uh, uh, in the library software and then we get the details if it's available in it or not in the library or not and uh, fourth one is uh, IT at workplace that is uh, workplace means the offices where we work uh, we use uh, computers or some or some specific computer applications uh, in offices to ascertain our work efficiently or effectively and uh, for example in banking uh, we use bank softwares to accomplish the banking related works and uh, 
so uh, we can use uh, IT uh, 51 is we can use IT in education uh, that is computers and uh, computers are extensively used in education and teaching learning process uh, we can use uh, software and hardware collectively uh, software and hardware technology is collectively for creation and uh, transmission of uh, information uh, in various forms uh, which may be videos it may be audios it may be pictures etc and uh, uh, for example, we can use IT in education just like uh, we can use ICT in classrooms. Uh, we can use ICT in various ways. For example, we can use it just like e-learning classes. Uh, we can go for educational games. Uh, we can go for smart board presentations or we can create some videos and audios uh, in order to make our lectures more and more interesting and uh, second one uh, second example is it uh, it in education second example is education anytime anywhere because uh, we have to google the topic uh, for which we are searching for and uh, we can search the topic and we can study it anytime anywhere and uh, third example is teaching aids because we can use multimedia what is multimedia multimedia is uh, more than one media we are using uh, to make our uh, topic more and more understand uh, more and more understandable and um, for example we use audios we use videos we use pictures uh, so to make our lessons uh, more and more interesting we use some ppts we use some presentations and uh, fourth example we can say we have lms that is a uh, learning management system uh, which is a uh, which is used in major countries uh, to many school systems and uh, in these in these systems uh, we have to register teacher and student have to register uh, uh, have to register themselves and uh, it's beneficial for both student teachers and as well as parents uh, for example because student can learn the topics anytime anywhere he or she can search the topic and he or she can learn it and uh, for example parents parents can uh, parents can monitor the progress of their children easily uh, from this lms that is learning management uh, system and we have sixth one that is it in entertainment uh, it can be used uh, um, uh, in entertainment as well uh, for example we can download a movie and we can watch it uh, using computer or using any digital device it may be a personal computer it may be a laptop it may be a tab or it may be a phone uh, and then we can say it in communication uh, we can use uh, it in communication uh, to make our communication more and more effective more and more efficient and uh, more and more and more modern uh, for example we can go for communication via emails via chatting via telnet or via video conferencing and uh, the chatting uh, it may be a facebook chatting it may be whatsapp chatting or there are many more applications uh, through which we can chat uh, we can chat with our uh, friends or uh, with our students and with our teachers mm, uh, so uh, that means uh, uh, that means uh, we can use IT in uh, more and more fields and uh, today we have studied uh, seven applications of IT and uh, there are much more applications uh, still and we can uh, we'll go for these applications tomorrow and uh, we'll go for rest of the applications tomorrow uh, so uh, till then uh, take care Allah Hafiz